Comic Book Yeti presents Kickstart My Home. Hey everyone, Byron O'Neill again with this month's edition of my YouTube show, Kickstart My Heart, where we focus on some of the really cool crowdfunding comics campaigns that you might have missed. The moon has cycled since we last saw each other and the crowdfunded comics universe has not disappointed in February. Um, they're dropping some just amazing projects for us to check out. This month, my feature projects are all over the map yet again, not surprisingly. We'll follow the continuing progress of the hound, grab a tiger by the tail, listen to a wise old owl, embrace something near and dear to many of our hearts, and take a dip into African culture. First up, what February would be complete without a love story? I said we'd catch up with the progress of the Hound, and by that I meant Fellhound. She has been smashing it as of late with the Commander Rao one-shot picked up by Scout Comics and is now funding the prequel to that with And We Love You This Month on Kickstarter. With her signature style of balancing the elements of love amidst the backdrop of war, I asked Fell to break it down a little bit for you. Hello, I am Fellhound. I am the creator behind And We Love You, currently funding on Kickstarter. And We Love You is a 64-page dystopian war comic about a young soldier named Julie, who perishes on the battlefield and bleeds out all her memories. It's part war drama, part queer love story, and part coming-of-age tragedy, all told through stunning cinematic visuals and an inventively heart-wrenching narrative. The comic is also a standalone prequel to my previous comic, the sci-fi action epic Commander Rao, now published by Scout Comics. We're currently funding our Kickstarter, and although we've already reached our goal, we have some really amazing stretch goals that brings in more story and more rewards for you. We hope to have your support, and let's make some awesome comics together. I got a chance to interview Fell about Commander Rao last fall, and she hinted at the release of this. Having smashed the funding goal already, we're well on our way to the multiple stretch goals that she was talking about, so you're sure to snag some extra goodies when you pick it up. Expect plenty of action, probably some gratuitous abs as she is wont to do, and some ladies in love. My second pick is near and dear to my own heart as we embrace the year of the water tiger having just celebrated Lunar New Year. I was born in the year of the tiger myself and as a lifelong practitioner of different kinds of martial arts, I was immediately drawn in to Patrick Lugo's all ages kung fu fantasy graphic novel A Tiger's Tale. I got a chance to sit down with Plugo to talk a little bit about his book earlier this month. Check it out. Well, you've described A Tiger's Tale as Avatar The Last Airbender meets The Jungle Book. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the story? Oh, well, the story is about a young Prince Khan, right? He's the Prince of Tigers and living in the jungle as any, as any tiger would want to. But his mother, the queen, adopts two human foundlings. But rather than do what any tiger would do with a, you know, a, a delectable morsel, she, she adopts them and raises them. This causes Khan to grow jealous because while his human brothers are learning from the entire forest, right? The trees, the, the, the animals in the trees, the animals in the rivers, Khan can only be a tiger. And he starts to resent his brothers for their ability to to be other things, you know, to be whatever they are, that whatever they choose to be. A Tiger's Tale is a really delightful all-ages adventure. Plugo has been working on this for years in the pages of Kung Fu magazine, and this is the first time he's decided to collect it in a larger volume. Originally in black and white, he decided to color everything for this release, making it extra special. One of the things I really love about it is the incorporation of some of the philosophies of different martial arts practices, into something designed to entertain kids. Someday distant, far in the future, I hope to read this with my own grandkids. In February, we celebrate love. I know, it's weird. I can't stand the over-commercialization of Valentine's Day either. My wife actually makes me promise not to buy her things for Valentine's Day. Okay, most of the time I'm pretty bad about that and do it anyway. But what do most of us love more than caffeine? Caffeinated Hearts embraces our love of that glorious cup of joe with four stories and a one-shot comic with a cyberpunk backdrop. Sounds really cool, right? Well, if Stefano Cardicelli's watercolor color for this book doesn't draw you in like it did me, I'm afraid your eyeballs are not working right. My jaw dropped originally when I saw Stefano's cover for Caffeinated Hearts while scrolling on Twitter. 
It was some glorious combination of Simon Beasley meets Jamie Hewlett, only with watercolor. So after reading a little bit more about the project, I thought I'd reach out to Jonathan Hedrick because he could do a better job of explaining it than I could. Hi, this is Jonathan Hedrick, writer and creator of The Recount, Space Cadet, and Quicksand. I have a new project called Caffeinated Hearts that's currently funding on Kickstarter. It features amazing art by Stefano Cardicelli. This is a 24-page one-shot slice-of-life comic book set in a coffee shop with a cyberpunk backdrop. We even have some rewards that include bags of coffee that can be delivered straight to your homes. Please check out Caffeinated Hearts now on Kickstarter. They have about 12 days to go on this project, and this one needs your help to get off the ground probably more than any of the others I'm going to talk about today. So please consider backing this cyberpunk smash up served with a side of America's favorite beverage. I'm featuring not one, not two, but three different projects this month focused on the all ages comics crowdfunding market. For my next pick, I'm gonna ask the question. Have you ever wondered what Gandalf would look like as an owl? Okay, fan frankly, I hadn't either, but that's exactly where my brain went with Moss Vale, a new seven and up fantasy story from writer Travis Wells. Here's Moss Vale's pitch. In the land of Moss Vale, Nigel Hu, yeah, he's an owl, has discovered an ancient scroll that reveals the location of a long-forgotten artifact. With the hired help of Sir Lucius, Nigel delves deep underground, only to discover that the artifact is anything but forgotten. It is tied to an evil plot that has been growing in the shadowy places of Moss Vale. This is a super cute project and perfect for introducing younger readers to the world of comics. It reminds me a lot of Redwall, with the forest creatures being heroes populating a fantasy environment. They scored a Kickstarter Projects We Love designation and are fully funded. The art is already done, so the turnaround time should be pretty quick for some fun summer-spring reading for the kiddos. Writer Bernard Mensa wrote Yawa the Adventure to help clear up some of the misconceptions in the way his native Africa is portrayed through the lens of Western media, and he chose to do that in a really cool way combining his childhood love of Indiana Jones, Scooby-Doo, and Tintin. Weaving fact, fiction, history, and modern living, his goal is to change the narrative around Africa and give people of every race a new hero and perspective, especially on his native Ghana. I was originally exposed to this on Liam Sharp's Twitter feed. As the artist on it, Matilda is his daughter, so I thought I'd check it out. Turns out it's really cool, and I'm a sucker for anything that tries to readjust cultural histories in the right direction, especially that of Africa. So please consider supporting this project aimed at inclusion and diversity in storytelling. Well, folks, that wraps up February's edition of Kickstart My Heart. I hope you found something new and interesting to back from this month's featured projects. We'll see you again in March. And on behalf of all of us at Comic Book Yeti, this is Byron O'Neill. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in and happy reading, y'all. Thank you for joining us today for another episode of Kickstart My Heart, and thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our new comics podcast, Into the Comics Cave, a different take on comics interviews, wherever you get your podcasts.